Good evening, everyone. Hey, Miss King. Hey, Scribe. How y'all doing today? Hey, can y'all hear me pretty good? We miss you. All. We miss you, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Want to let everybody know I'll be singing solo this Sunday. So I want y'all to make sure y'all come to church Sunday. I'll be singing solo. Uh, and Sunday after that, I'll be singing do it. Just kid. Just kid. Don't listen to that. Hey, Patrice, how you doing? Hey, has everyone had a good week so far? Had an outstanding week so far. Bless me. I see some little emojis up there that made me have a good week. Man. Amen. Hey, I want everybody to be careful. They said the storm could be pretty bad tonight, but we'll see how that goes. I know school is starting late tomorrow, so everybody just make sure to keep an eye on the weather. Because it's kind of warm today, tornado to pop up. But anyway, we know we covered under the blood, so we thank God for that. Amen. Did y'all enjoy Sunday? Was Sunday not awesome? Y'all see uh, Minister Miko? That was a powerful testimony. Words of encouragement. Amen. I pray. Hey, y'all tell y'all friends, uh, encourage them to go look go, go look at our page and look at all of the, all our previous messages and everything. But also make sure encourage somebody to look at uh this past Sunday when Miko when she brought the word. That was an awesome word that Miko brought. Amen. It was not just for young people, that was for everybody. Amen. Y'all see how bold she was? How the spirit of the Lord was on her. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. There's freedom. Amen. Amen. Don't forget this Sunday. It's communion Sunday, first Sunday. Amen. Make sure everybody makes sure you're on time. Amen. Don't forget we are social distancing. Amen. We're sanitizing. We're doing all that. Amen. Just want to give people time to uh, log on, do a watch party, uh, call somebody, encourage somebody uh, to watch tonight. Amen. God has just been so good. Amen. Amen. Give everybody about, about another minute, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Amen. Amen. Hey, November's going to be a good month, too. And, man, I got a feeling we're going to have some somebody uh, that's going to do Bible study on uh, November, probably the 4th. Or the, I think it's five Wednesday in November, probably the 4th or that 5th Wednesday. We're going to have somebody. Uh, I don't know who face that word popped up there. But I believe we're going to have somebody new. And they're going to be excited. Yeah, exactly. Uh, going to do Bible study Wednesday in November. Amen. Amen. Have everybody been enjoying Bible study? I think it's been pretty I've been excited about Bible study. Amen. So they put some good word going forward. Amen. Not just on Wednesday, not even on Sunday. Amen. I can feel a shift going on at the church. Amen. And that's a good thing. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and get started, amen. We're going to go ahead and get started, amen. I want to welcome everybody tonight, amen, to Love and Difference Church Incorporated in Birmingham, Alabama, amen. This is our Wednesday night boost, amen. It's not a Wednesday night struggle, but this is a Wednesday boost, amen. Uh, our pastor is Pastor Adela Larry, amen, and I'm assistant pastor, Pastor Hollis, amen. I bring you greetings tonight, amen. Just excited to be here, 
is see what God's going to say tonight. Amen. Uh, I would appreciate it if, if you all, uh, even after even after we broadcast, take if you got any questions or something you're curious about, text me. Amen. Text me and ask a question. Uh, so you know, I like I like to be engaged. Amen. And that's how we get wisdom. Amen. And knowledge. Amen. Uh, we study to show ourselves approved. Amen. So uh, if you got any questions or anything you want to say, Amen. Feel free to say. You can even text me. Everybody has my number. Amen. I'm not a big bad wolf. I'm not gonna bite. Amen. So make sure you know you text somebody uh, to uh, log in, and watch, start a watch party. Amen. Amen. So we're we gonna go ahead and get started. Amen. We know this month of October, uh, we're uh, we've been studying uh, what has God said to you. What has God said to you? And I believe that uh, God has, speak, has spoke to some people, amen, and we saw that Sunday morning, amen. Uh, God has been speaking. God has been saying some things to me, and uh, I'm yet standing on uh, some questions that I have for God, some questions that I've been asking him, and I need answers for them, amen. So I have to stay in his presence, amen, and see what he's saying. And uh, tonight we're going to... Uh, we're going to talk about a few things, amen. I think I've got one, two, three, four, four things we're going to talk about tonight, amen. And prayerfully, it won't be that long, amen, amen. But we're going to pray and get started. Father, we thank you tonight, God, for who you are, God. God, we thank you that you're sitting high and you're looking low, God. God, we thank that heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool. God, we give you glory, we give you honor, God, for this day that you have made, God. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it, God. God, I thank you for True Love Deliverance Church. I thank you right now, God, for the faithfulness, God. I thank you for the obedience, God. I thank you for the spiritual growth, God. God, I thank you that no weapon form will prosper against us, God. I thank you that no weapon form has prospered against us, God. God, I thank you right now, God, for uh, you are our good shepherd, God, and we are your sheep, God. Lord, as we sit in your sheepfold, God, we pray that you would teach us, lead us, and guide us, God. Lord, you said, your word said, the voice of a stranger we will not follow, God. So, God, we thank you right now, God, that we are breaking strongholds, God. Yokes are falling off right now, God. Lord, right now, God, we are being elevated, God. We are being positioned, God. And, Lord, right now, God, we are being promoted, God. And it's by you, God. Father, we thank you right now because of, because of who you are, God, that makes us who we are, God. And you are a phenomenal God. Lord, you can do anything but fail, God. Lord, you are keeper. You are healer. You are deliverer, God. You are Lord of Lords and King of Kings, God. Lord, you are advocate, God. You are the lover of our souls, God. Lord, you are everything, God. No matter what we need, God, you are that. Just like Moses said, God, when Moses said, when they asked who sent me, he said, say the I am, God. So, God, whatever we need, God, you say, I am that. So, God, we thank you right now, God. We sit in your presence, God. Lord, I pray right now, God, as I decrease, God, that I become a minute particle in your presence, God. Lord, watch over me, God, be protect me, keep me safe, God. Keep my mind on you, God, and you will keep me in perfect peace. Lord, I pray right now, God, for your people, God, that they hear your word, God, and not my words, God. That they see you, God, and not me, God. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory and all the honor. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> Amen. So tonight we want to talk about a few things. Uh, I know we've been talking about uh, what has God said to you uh, for the month of October. And we get ready to go into November. And um, I'll tell you what God spoke to my spirit uh, for the month of November. And uh, I'll give it to you before we leave. But uh, we've been talking about what has God said to you. And the Lord uh, spoke to me. And I, I want to use that word. He, he spoke. And that's what we're talking about. What has God said to you? Uh, the Lord spoke to me. Amen. And uh, he said this. Uh, God says, I am speaking. Uh, but are you listening? So tonight we want to talk about God is speaking. Am I listening? God is speaking. Am I listening? And that's the question that you have to ask yourself. Amen. Nobody can answer that question for you, but you. So if God is speaking, are you listening? And the word speaking and listening, I, I, I want to uh, uh, 
impart some things into your spirit tonight. The, the Lord has told me that a lot of times people, uh, they listen for the voice of God. But how many of us know uh, God don't always speak to us in a voice? Amen. There are so many ways that he can speak to us. Amen. So when you go to God and you say, God, uh, I, I need to hear a word from you, God. Oh, Lord, speak to me, God. And I, I, I do that too. Lord, speak to me, God, that I, that I hear you, God. Lord, speak to me. Uh, but you got to understand that he may not speak to you. There are other ways that God can speak to you. Now, so I want you to take some notes tonight. Amen. I'm going to give you some scriptures tonight. Amen. There's a few scriptures, not a lot of them. But uh, it says God speaks to us in many ways. And it's up to us because of our relationship. Amen. So if we have a relationship with him, amen, he can speak to us any kind of way he wants to. Amen. So because of our relationship with him, we have to stay ready and prepared to hear him. Amen. However, he chooses to communicate with us. Amen. So because we have a relationship with him, we have to always be ready to receive communication from him however he chooses to give it to us. Amen. So, you know, because Isaiah 55, 8, uh, it says that uh, God says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Amen. Uh, Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. So he says, he says, you know, the Bible says that we should have a mind of Christ. Amen. But how many of us know that we'll never fully understand him? Amen. We, we, we know in part, amen, the, the, the little we know about him doesn't cover nowhere near who he is. So he says, my thoughts, he said his thoughts are not our thoughts. See, the words we use, oh, God is good, he's awesome, he's powerful, but God said that ain't even nowhere close to who I am. And he said, your ways are not my ways. He said, I declare that. He said, I, I speak that. He said, I declare that, Amen. So the Lord can speak to us in so many ways, not just by words. The Lord can speak to us in words and in actions. Amen. Amen. He can verbally speak to us, and he can speak to us in action. Amen. And we're going to see that tonight. Okay. So the first one I want to give you is this. The Lord can speak to us in words. You put an S on there. Or word, which is his word. Or he can speak to us in circumstances. Amen. So the Lord can speak to us in word or with circumstances. Amen. So the word is uh, saying a statement or the word is instructions by God speaking, by the utterance of God. So when we read the word of God, amen. So we, when we read the word, God is speaking. God is uttering. God is speaking a word to us. Amen. Now, the word circumstances means a condition or an incidence or an, incur in, or an occurrence. Amen. So he can speak to us uh, by the words we read in the word. Amen. Or he can speak words into our spirit. Amen. Or there are circumstances or actions that he can do that will speak to us. And I'm going to give you a good example. Amen. Uh, in Jonah 1, 1 through 4. Amen. Look at Jonah 1. One through four. I'll give you a chance to get there right real quick. Amen. Jonah. One. One through four. Amen. And it reads like this. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Get up. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because the e their evil has come up before me. Verse three. Jonah got up to flee to Tarshish from the Lord's presence. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. He paid the fare, went down into it to go with him to Tarshish from the Lord's presence. Verse 4. Amen. But the Lord threw a great wind onto the sea, and such a great storm arose on the sea and that the ship threatened to break apart. Amen. See, in verse 1, it says, The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. So he physically spoke a word, or he uttered a word to Jonah, amen, so just like that, I said before, he can speak a word to you, amen, but what did Jonah do, Jonah heard him, amen, Jonah heard the Lord, but what did Jonah do, look at verse 4, but the Lord threw a great wind onto the sea, 
and such a great storm arose on the sea. Amen. So, so the Lord spoke to Jonah with words, but Jonah ignored him. So what did the Lord do? He spoke to Jonah in a circumstance. Amen. Or in a situation. What was the situation? He caused a storm. He, the Bible says he threw a storm and it became a great storm. But what happened? It got Jonah's attention. Amen. Jonah heard the Lord. He ignored him. So God caused a, he threw a great storm on the sea and he got Jonah's attention uh, through circumstances. Amen. We might say he can talk to you in words or in circumstances. So he spoke verbally and he spoke through a storm. A storm is nothing more than a disturbance or an unusual force. Amen. So the Lord can get your attention any way he, he wants to. Amen. He can speak to you just like he spoke to Jonah. Hey, Jonah, I need you to go do this. But Jonah ignored him and went and did his own. But how many times has God spoken to us? And we say, well, is that, Lord, is that really you? And we just ignored him. Then all of a sudden something happened and it got our attention. And then we turn around and say, okay, Lord, I hear you now. Amen? Amen? So the first thing, the first way is uh, uh, God is speaking is through word or through circumstances. Amen? Through word or circumstances. Amen? The second way God can speak to us, amen, uh, is through wise counsel. Through wise counsel. Amen? Wise counsel. Whenever we seek God, uh, uh, through godly counsel, amen. When we go to God, uh, a lot of times, if we don't get an answer, we read, we pray, and we don't get an answer from God, what do we do a lot of times? We go and seek, we don't go seek man, amen, because man will give us what they think. But if we seek God, amen, we reconnect, amen, thank God. Uh, but if we seek godly counsel, we can hear the voice of God, Amen. How many of us know that that's why God had prophets? The Lord would speak to the prophets, and the prophets would go to the people. Amen. And the prophets would tell the people, this is what the Lord is saying. Amen. Not that the Lord wasn't speaking to the people, but the people chose not to obey what God was saying. Amen. So instead of just destroying them, God would send a prophet. Amen. Like Jeremiah, uh, uh, Ezekiel, uh, this all the prophets. He would send prophets to the people. Amen. Amen. So whenever we seek godly counsel, we can hear the voice of God. In other words, when, when you go to people that have been sent by God, they're not going to tell you what they think. They're going to tell you what God is saying. Amen. They may not tell you right then unless God speaks a word to them or God gives them a revelation. A revelation is nothing more than an understanding. Amen. A lot of times God uh, somebody could call you and be talking about something. And all of a sudden, God will give you a revelation of what that was right then. Amen. Or sometimes it may be overnight. Amen. So God may not uh, speak to you, but when you seek godly counsel or wise counsel, God will speak to you. Amen. So we know in the book of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs is called the book of wisdom. And it's, it's uh, credited as being written by King Solomon. And as we know, he was supposed to be one of the wisest men in the Bible. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Let's take a look at that real quick. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Proverbs 3. Amen. 5 and 6. Amen. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Amen. Verse 6. In all your ways, know him and he will make your path straight. Amen. So, wise count. Don't trust in what you think. Amen. In the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Amen. So when, when, if you pray to God and if you don't hear a word from him or he don't give you, like we talked about before, in circumstances or something don't happen, amen, don't just say, well, I ain't heard that from him, so I guess this is what he want me to do, amen. The Bible says, wait. Again, I say, wait. Be patient. 
They that wait upon the Lord, he will renew your strength. He'll give you new strength. Amen? So Proverbs is giving us some wisdom. It tells you when the Lord, when the Lord he'll, he'll give you somebody to go to, and they will give you wise counsel. Don't just say, well, I guess this is what he wants me to do. Amen? Because it sounds good to you. No, we can't do that. Amen? We can't do that. Amen? But it says, in all your ways, know him, and he will make your path straight. Amen. So when you're speaking to God, if he hasn't spoke to you, go to somebody and ask them. You know, I've been, you know, that's why we have prayer partners. Amen. Everybody should have a prayer partner or somebody that they can go to that will give them some godly advice. Amen. Hey, I've been praying to God. Uh, he hasn't revealed anything to me. Can you stand in agreement with me that God will reveal or release or give me a revelation? Amen. And when people, the Bible said, when two or three are gathered together in my name, amen. So when we get together, when we yoke up, amen, now your burden or your thoughts become mine, amen. And we're going to get this thing worked out together. So don't lean up on your own thing, amen. Uh, verse 7, you look at verse 7. Look at verse 7. Proverbs 3, uh, verse 7. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Don't try to give your own self the answer to what you think God wants you to do. Amen? Don't be wise. Don't try to handle it yourself. Amen? Amen. Proverbs 1 and 5. It says, let a wise person, listen, I may be going a little too fast, excuse me. Proverbs 1 and 5. Proverbs 1 and 5 says, let a wise person listen and increase learning, and let a discerning person obtain guidance. Amen. The word discern means to recognize. Amen. Let a wise person listen. Amen. And increase learning, and let a discerning person, a person recognize uh, guidance. Amen. In other words, let a person recognize that they may not have the answer, but sometimes it's okay to go to a godly person or somebody got some godly wisdom and give you an answer to something. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, 2 Chronicles verses 1, 7, and 10. 2 Chronicles verse 1, 7, and 10. Amen? 2 Chronicles 1, 7, and 10. Second Chronicles 1, 7, and 10. 1, 7, and 10. 1, 7, and 10. Second Chronicles 1, 7, and 10. It says, That night God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask what should I give you? Amen. Verse 10. Go down to verse 10. It says this. Now grant me wisdom and knowledge so that I may lead these people for who can judge this great people of yours. God came, God came to uh, uh, Solomon and he asked Solomon, what should I give you? Amen. He, he verbally spoke to him. Amen. And, and Solomon came back and he sought wisdom. He went to somebody that had godly wisdom and he said, grant me wisdom and knowledge so that I may lead these people for who can judge this great people of yours. Solomon could have went to anybody and asked anybody, well, what do y'all you, you think I need to do? Or how do you think I need to, to, to lead these people? But what did he do? He went to somebody that had godly wisdom. He went to God himself. And he asked God, either give me wisdom and knowledge. That's what he asked for. He said, now grant me. In other words, now give me. Amen. For who can judge this great people of yours? Amen. He he didn't want to lead the people astray. Amen. I believe I believe uh, Solomon had been praying and he didn't get an answer. But when God came to him, God spoke to him verbally, spoke to him. Amen. And then he came and, and showed him. Amen. 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 So that's the second way. Amen. God can uh, by wise counsel. Amen. The third way is God. Can speak to us through peace. Amen. God can speak 
to us through peace. Amen. You ever ask God for something and you, you worried about it and all of a sudden, you know, you heard people say, man, there was just a calmness came over. I just felt some peace about myself. That's God speaking to us. Amen. While you were sitting there waiting on him to verbally uh, utter a word to you. Amen. You've been reading scripture. You've been praying. But God turns around and gives you a peace about that thing. Amen. A peace that surpasses all of your understanding. You don't understand what happened to man. I'm not even worried about that anymore. God gave you peace. Amen. So God can speak to us through peace. Amen. Uh, in, uh, Colossians 3, 15. The Bible says, and let the peace of God or let the peace of Christ to which we are also called in one body rule your hearts and be thankful. Amen. Let the peace of God or Christ to which you were also called in one body, rule your hearts. So when God gives you peace, when God uh, speaks to you by peace, let that thing take charge of your heart. Amen. You ain't got to wait on a word no more from God. Amen. That don't mean you stop reading his word. But God has given you peace. He has spoke to you through peace. Amen. The Bible says, let it rule your heart. Amen. You ain't got to worry about that thing no more. Amen. Peace has taken over your heart. And the Bible says, be thankful. Amen. The, even though the Bible says the heart is uh, the heart is deceitful and wicked, who can know it? But right here, this scripture tells us that Christ gives you peace in your heart. Amen. So when you've been worried about something, God has spoke a word to you. He, he can tell you, peace, be still. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Uh, it says, verse 10 says, uh, Colossians 3, 10 says, let the word of Christ dwell richly among you in our wisdom, teaching, and admonishing, admonishing uh, one another through psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Amen? So he said, let the word of Christ dwell richly among you. Amen? So when, when, when we're seeking God, when we want God to speak a word to us, have you ever noticed when you get in the service and the spirit is high, when we're singing psalms and uh, hymns and everything, and uh, 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 admonishing means to urge. Amen. When we're admonishing Him, when we when we're admonishing each other, we're urging. You know, when the, when the praise team is on the pulpit, they're urging us, they're encouraging us to get into the presence of the Lord. Amen. So we can hear from Him. Amen. Uh, uh, the Bible says when we sing through Psalm, when Psalms are sacred songs. Amen. Songs geared toward Him. Amen. Songs of praise, amen. Songs of worship. When we sing hymns, hymns are songs of praise, amen. God, we thank you, God, for what you've done in our life, God. We thank you, God, for how you've blessed us, God. We thank you, God, for how you released, God. God, we thank you, God, for how you heard us, God. We thank you, we praise them. Those are hymns, amen, and spiritual songs. Those are songs that are inspired by the Holy Spirit, amen. You know, sometimes uh, when the praise, uh, when the praise, well, that I praise and worship. But I like to call them worship, amen, because they take us into the spirit of worship, amen. Worship is when we let him know how great he is in our lives. Worship is when we let him know that we can't live without him. Worship is when we let him know that he's everything to us, amen. That's why I call them our, our worship leaders, amen. Have you ever noticed when the spirit of the Lord is in that place, when, when worship is, is, when we give him high praise and when we're worshiping him, when, when the music is over, is over uh, uh, the worship is still continuing, amen? We are singing uh, uh, songs that have been inspired by the Holy Spirit, amen? They may just sing a, a word, they say it repeatedly, amen? That's the Holy Spirit. The, 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 uh, uh, we're urging each other. We're, 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 keeping, we're keeping each other lifted up. We're keeping each other in the Spirit, amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. The fourth way, and this is last, I'm not going to go over a bunch, I'm not going to keep you long tonight, amen. But the other way, uh, another way, the fourth one is uh, God can speak to us uh, through dreams and visions. Through dreams and visions, amen. I, I've heard uh, people, they've come to me and say, you know, Pastor Harris, you know, God gave me this dream, it was so clear, this, this, and this, and when, when I dreamt that, uh, this happened. I said, okay, you know, and that's good. God speak to you in your dreams. So we know God can speak to you. He may not be like Jonah. He may not speak to you uh, verbally. 
He may not speak to you in those circumstances. Amen. He may not speak to you through wise counsel. Uh, he may not speak to you through peace. But he may speak to you through your dreams. Or he may speak to you in a vision. Amen. So dreams are thoughts which occupy the mind of a sleeping person in which he imagines he has a view of real things or transactions. So in other words, you may have been praying to God for something. Amen. And when you go to sleep at night, God visits you in your dream, in your, in your dream state. Amen. Uh, like I said before, dreams is nothing more than a thought. So God will put a thought into your, it'll occupy your mind, amen, and it'll help you to see uh, or give you a view of what you've been praying for, amen, amen. In other words, just say if if you've been praying, say, God, I, I, I don't know about this test, God. I got a test coming up on my job. Lord, it just seems so hard. God, I've been studying, but it just, just seems like I'm just, I'm just not getting Everything I, I, I need, God, I'm getting stuck on this question here. I don't understand what they say in my day. But, God, you know what? I'm leaning on you, God. You are the source of my strength. And you go to bed at night. You're laying there and, you, you know, you're meditating. Amen. Then you drift off to sleep. Amen. So now you're in a, you, you're in a, a, a sleep realm. And the Lord visits you in your sleep. Amen. Amen. But he puts a view of what's real. Amen. Into your spirit, amen, amen. So he puts something in you that you've been asking him for, but it comes to you by way of a dream, amen, amen. Now, a vision is nothing more than a revelation, amen. Vision is what God reveals to you or what he discloses to you, amen. Uh, in other words, you discover it, it was unknown to you, but God reveals it to you in a vision and makes it known to you. Amen. So you, you ever you ever been you ever been uh you ever been somewhere and, and you saw yourself like outside of yourself, or you saw yourself like taking a test, or you were sitting somewhere and you just you just you just daydreaming and you saw yourself in another place. Amen. God is giving you a vision of what is to come. Amen. He's speaking to you, amen. Amen? Y'all understand what I'm saying? So, dream is while you're in a sleep realm. Amen? He deposits a view in your, in your thoughts. Amen? A vision is you see it. You don't have to be asleep. You can be awake and, and just be daydreaming or, you, 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 you know, your mind, you say, well, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking about, but I saw myself. I, I saw myself uh, getting happy or I saw myself receive my diploma or I, 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 I saw God gave me a vision. A vision is nothing more than a revelation, amen, uh, from God, an appearance that he supernaturally shows you, amen, or he presents it to your mind, amen. So when God gives you a revelation, he reveals to you supernaturally, amen, amen. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, Hebrews 11 and 1, let's look at that, amen, Hebrews 11 and 1. Amen. And we all know this scripture. Amen. Now, faith is the southern thing, hope for the evidence of thing not seen. Amen. But this is what it says right there. It says this, Hebrews 11, 1. Now, faith is the reality of what is hoped for, the proof of what is not seen. Amen. One more time. Now, faith is the reality. Amen. It's real. Amen. Of what is uh, hoped for, what you thought about, what you dreamed for, what you ask God for, the proof of what is not seen, amen. So uh, when you ask God for something, amen, you may he may show it to you in a dream or he may show, you to, show it to you in a vision, amen. The evidence of things hoped for, the things that you've been hoped for, you've been praying, you've been talking to God for, it has not manifested itself yet, but God has showed it to you, amen, amen. That's something to get happy about right there. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Amen. Substance is something that you can hold, something that you can see. Amen. In other words, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You don't have it right now. You don't have the substance right now. But you're going to have the evidence of the things that you don't even see right now. Amen. 
So you know you, you've been praying God for for uh for help. God will give you divine help, amen. He'll give you divine favor, amen. You pray because God, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the hospital, God. I got a, a, a bad report. The doctor said he saw a spot here. So I'm going in, God. I'm believing by faith, God. I'm speaking to you right now. And uh, you go in there and also you go to the doctor. The doctor take another x-ray and he don't see nothing in there, amen. So that is faith, faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, amen. You don't physically see it yet, amen. But all of a sudden, there's an evidence of the things that 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 that, that, that you didn't that you didn't see. Now you see it, amen, amen. Verse three, Hebrews eleven three, is that by faith we understand that the universe was created by what the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible, amen. So God can reveal to you. He don't have to speak to you. He can reveal it in so many all these ways we talked about. Amen. Through dreams, through visions. Amen. Uh, uh, through circumstances. Amen. God can reveal it any way he wants to. By faith, we understand because we got a connection that the universe was created how? By the word of God. So if God can create all of this, God can speak a word into our lives. Amen. And if he don't speak a word to our lives, everything that we went over, amen, circumstances, dreams, visions, amen, uh, godly uh, counsel, all of those ways he can speak into us, amen, amen. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. In other words, he made something out of nothing. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the world was void. It had no form or no shape. But look at it now. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Amen. Everything. He made everything that, that you see. Amen. He made thank you Holy Ghost. He made it so you could see it. Amen. You know people say seeing is believing. If I don't see it just like Thomas. Thomas said if I don't see him I would not believe. Amen. So the Lord appeared to Thomas. Thomas, put your finger here. Stick your hand in my side. And what did Thomas say? Now I believe. Amen. But God created all of this. Amen. Why? So we could believe. So he spoke these things into existence. Amen. He spoke these things into existence. And I believe right now by faith that God is, you know, anything that we ask God for, we don't physically see it. Amen? You don't see. You go to the doctor. He show you x-rays. You see a spot on the x-ray. Amen? You go You go take a test. Uh, you got to make at least a 70 to pass the test. But you make a 69. And you, got, and you, you can retake the test. Amen? But all of a sudden, you see. Amen? You see yourself passing. Amen? You see yourself, you say, look, I see what I missed, but now I can go back and take it again. Amen? You, you see what I'm saying? You don't see it then, but when you go back, amen, he makes it visible for you to see. You, didn't, you don't see yourself passing. All you saw was that x-ray with the spot on it, but when you go back to, hit, to the doctor again and that spot is gone, amen, you had to see it, amen, and now you can believe it, amen? Amen. 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 So by faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was made from things that were not visible. Amen. Uh, God speaks to us through dreams and visions. Amen. I'm going to give you three more things that we're going to close. Amen. In, in the book of uh, Genesis 20, verse 3. You can look this for yourself. Genesis chapter 20, verse 3. Amen. Amen. And look at verse 8 also. Uh, it talks about Abimelech, how uh, Abraham uh, went to Abimelech, and uh, Abram had his wife Sarah with him. But Abraham was so scared that people was going to kill him that he told uh, Sarah, if anybody asks who you are, tell them that you are my sister. Don't tell them you my wife. Tell them you are my sister. Well, 
Abraham told Abimelech that this was my sister. So the Bible said that Abimelech uh, liked Sarah. Amen. But the Lord came to Abimelech. The Bible says he came to him in a dream. And he told Abimelech, and he told him, you are about to die. Mm. He came to Abimelech in a dream and said, you are about to die for what you are about to do. Amen. In other words, Abimelech, because of a lie that Abraham told, Abimelech was going to die. But the Lord spoke to Abimelech in a dream. The Bible said he came to him in a dream. Amen. You look it up for yourself. Genesis 20, chapter, verse, verse 8. Verse got up. When he heard the word of the Lord, he woke up in the morning. He got up. Amen. And he fixed that thing. Amen. Amen. So the Lord speaks in dreams. Amen. Uh, Matthew 2nd chapter, verse 12. Uh, the Lord spoke to the wise man. Amen. Matthew 20, second chapter, verse 12, excuse me. Matthew 2nd chapter, verse 12. The Lord spoke to the wise men. Uh, when the wise men came to Jerusalem looking, they said, we are looking for, uh, for he who is born king of the Jews. Amen. Uh, so he spoke to the king, King Herod. Uh, king Herod was looking for the baby because he wanted to kill the baby. Amen. So the, the, the wise men left, uh, and they went to Jerusalem. They went to Jerusalem asking, but they left there. Amen. And But while they were sleeping, the Lord spoke to the wise men, and they told them, when you leave from giving uh, uh, praise and uh, the gifts to the baby, do not go back to Herod. Amen. The Lord spoke in a dream to the wise men. He said, do not go back to Herod. Amen. Go another way. Amen. So the Lord speaks in the dreams. Amen. Uh, also in Matthew 2nd chapter verse 13. Amen. The Lord speaks to Joseph in a uh, dream. Amen. Uh, he told Joseph, take the child and his mother and go to Egypt and stay there until I tell you to leave. Amen. The Lord spoke to Joseph in a dream. He said, do not leave until I tell you. Amen. Amen. So we see that the Lord speaks to us. Uh, so the question was, uh, what has the Lord said to you? Amen. And uh, I kind of dispel that, 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 root, that uh, rumor and that myth that you've been probably thinking about. Well, he hasn't said anything to me. But now go back and ask yourself, what has the Lord said to you? Has he spoke to you in a dream, in a vision? And wise counsel, amen, verbally spoke to you? Has he spoke to you in a circumstance, amen, or a situation, amen, amen? So why do we have a hard time distinguishing if we have heard from God? Why do we have a hard time distinguishing if we have heard from God, amen, amen? So I, I think I, I, I've, I've kind of took away some of the excuses. So I, I believe the Lord has been speaking uh, to us, even me. But uh, we think we're supposed to verbally hear him. But this is what the Lord told me. The Lord said there's a separation. There is a separation. And we will not hear from him in either, any of these ways that I've talked about tonight until we Remove the separation. Amen. Look at this right quick, right quick. Jeremiah. Look at Jeremiah, the 29th chapter. Then we'll be finished. Jeremiah 29th chapter. Verses 10 through 14. Jeremiah 10, 29, 10 through 14. The Lord said, There's a separation. Amen. What separates us from God? Sin separates us from Him. Amen. Sin is when we're doing our own thing, anything that's contrary to, contrary to the word or the will of God. Amen. That is separation. Amen. We got to listen to wise counsel. Amen. But when we lean to our own understanding, amen, that separates us from him. Because why? Because that lets him know 
that we are standing on what we believe and not what he said. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 10 through 14. For this is what the Lord says. When 70 years for Babylon are complete, I will attend to you and will confirm my promise concerning you to restore you to this place. In other words, he says, when he says, when you hear me, I will attend to you. In other words, I will listen, to, you will listen to me and I will hear you. He says, 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you. Amen. And that's what we've been standing on. Amen. He spoke that in my spirit just as clear. 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. This is what the Lord declares. Amen. This is what he's speaking. Plans for your well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. He said this, you will call to me. In other words, you're going you're gonna to call to him. Amen. You're going to want to speak to him. He says, you will call to me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Amen. But you got to go back to that. You got to remove that separation. Amen. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Amen. You got to get away from the way you think he should answer. Remember he said to me, he said, his thoughts are not your thoughts. Your ways are not his ways. Amen. Don't think he's supposed to answer you a certain way. Amen. Let him, let, let God be God. Amen. Let him be him. Amen. Let him do what he does so well. Amen. You will seek him and you will find him when you search for me with all your heart. Verse 14. I will be found by you. Amen. I will be found by you. Amen. He says, when I, he said, when, he said, when you find me, this is what's going to happen. He said, I will restore your fortune and gather you from all the nations and places where I banish you. This is the Lord's declaration. I will restore you to the place from which I deported you. Amen. So what he's telling Jeremiah, he told Jeremiah, tell the people, they've been doing their own thing. You read the book of Jeremiah, we done read, we done read it, we done looked at it. The people were doing their own thing. They were, they were going further and further away from the Lord. He was speaking to them. He was showing them. But they didn't, they didn't listen. He showed them visions and dreams. Amen. He spoke to them. He spoke, and they did not believe. But what happened? He sent a prophet to speak to them. He sent a prophet to them. Amen. Jeremiah was sent to reunite us to God. Amen. He was sent to reunite us with God. Amen. Amen. That's what the Lord spoke to my spirit tonight. Amen. What has God said to you? What has he said to you? This is our last uh, Bible study for the month of October. Amen. And I pray that you reevaluate this. Amen. We got a couple more days before November. But, but go, just sit down. Get in your quiet place and say, God, you, I know you've been speaking to me. You may not have been speaking to me in words. But God, maybe you spoke to me in a situation. God, bring that back to me, God. Bring that back to me. He said, when you seek me, you will find me. God, bring that back to me. God, I had a dream, God. God. God, give me that vision and that dream again, God. And let me be obedient to that dream and that vision, God. Because when you're obedient to the vision and the dream, you hear him. Amen? Amen. That leads us to the month of November. For the month of November, the Lord spoke to my spirit. This is what we're going to be standing on for the month of November. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's almost like a continuation of October. What has God said to you? Now you've got a chance to go back and, and, and reevaluate how, he, how he, he's been speaking to you or what he spoke to you. Just like Samuel. The Lord called Samuel three times, but the fourth time, when Eli recognized that the Lord was speaking to him, he says, when the Lord calls you, just say, yes, Lord, your servant hears you. That's what we're standing on, hallelujah, for the month of November. Amen. Yes, Lord. I don't care what he told you, what he showed you. Yes, Lord. 
I don't care how it don't sit well with you or how it's going to make somebody else feel mm. or what you're going to be ashamed of. Yes, Lord. Amen. You will not get favor or grace or mercy until you say, yes, Lord. The Bible said we must obey God rather than man. Yes, Lord. Don't worry about how your yes, Lord, looks. Don't worry about how your yes, Lord, feels. Amen. And see, another thing, thank you, Holy Ghost. We got to get out of the, I'm telling you, worship has been on my, on, on my, in my heart and on my mind for the last couple of months. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to worship you, God. Yes, Lord, in my worship. Put, put a yes, Lord, in your worship. Yes. Amen. Put a yes, Lord, in your worship. I challenge y'all, this Sunday, let a yes, Lord, come Jesus. out. Let a yes, Lord, take over Sunday morning. Amen. I dare you. I tell you to break out to a yes, Lord, praise and a yes, Lord, worship this Sunday. Amen. I dare you to tell the devil no and tell the Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ooh, I felt that in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. This is communion Sunday coming up this Sunday. Amen. No time out for rituals. No time out for uh, what, what we've been doing. Let's give God a, a yes, Lord, this Sunday. Amen. Anybody with me? Let me see some thumbs up, some hearts. Let, let, put something on that list that you agree with me. That you're going to give God a yes, Lord, this Sunday. Amen. 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 I'm going to give him a yes, Lord, this Sunday. I don't know about you. Amen. 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 Uh, that's it for Bible study. Uh, I pray that something was said tonight that would uh, encourage you. That would take you from October. You still got three more days October. That would take you from October to November. Amen. Uh, give. Amen. Uh, if you want to sow into the kingdom, hey, I see hearts flying everywhere. Don't, hey, don't stop letting your hearts, your thumbs up, and all that stuff go just because I'm finna get ready to close. Amen. Because God is still good. Amen. Amen. Yes, God is good. Amen. Thumbs up. Amen. Hearts. Amen. Uh, if you want to give into the kingdom, amen. Sow into the kingdom. This is some good ground. To sow into, amen, amen. Quit looking at numbers, amen, and start looking at Jesus, amen, the author and the finisher of our faith, amen. He is the source of our strength, amen, amen. We have some ground that's so fertile at True Love Deliverance Church, amen. I, I promise you, if you sow into the kingdom by way of True Love Deliverance Church, amen, you will reap a harvest, amen. The Bible says the tree is known, excuse me, the fruit is known by the the, the trees know about the fruit it bears. Amen. We have good trees. Amen. I see some fruit at True Love Delivered Church. Amen. We had some fruit that stood up before us Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Because I know the tree that it came off of. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I know the tree that it came off of. Amen. So if you want to give, text the word give, G-I-V-E. Amen. To 855-773-6297. Amen. One more time. Text the word give to 855-773-6297. Amen. I want to thank everybody that's been giving. Amen. Not just your tithes and your offering. Amen. But that's been giving just generously into the uh, to the kingdom by way of True Love Deliverance Church. Amen. We thank you for your giving. Amen. And I promise you, we don't take it lightly. Amen. I pray a special blessing upon you, amen, that your ground, amen, you may think your ground is hard, amen, that your ground becomes fertile, amen. I pray right now that God, that he saturates your ground with supernatural fertilizer, amen. I pray that your seed, that it, that it germinates, amen, and bring forth a good harvest, amen. I pray right now that the ministry that you're in, that it will grow, amen. I pray that whatever you sow, that the Lord brings it back unto you a hundredfold return. Amen. And I pray right now that he will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen. So I thank God for all those that have been given. Amen. Amen. And I want to say this. True Love Deliverance Church, you are some givers. Amen. You are some sowers. The Bible says he gives seed to the sower. Amen. You have been giving. Amen. Not out of necessity. Amen. But you have been giving, amen. I thank God for your giving, amen. Think about this true love, amen. Have we ever come up short anywhere? We've never come up short, amen. God loves a cheerful giver, amen. And he's able to make all grace abound, amen. 
He's able to make grace get up for you. Amen. So I thank God for you tonight. Amen. I thank, I thank God for everybody to tune in tonight. Amen. So God is so wonderful. Amen. So when you go back tonight, amen, when you're in your prayer closet, when you get up in the morning, you say, God, forgive me, God. I've been looking for you to speak to me verbally, God. But God, I believe you've been speaking to me in a vision. I believe you've been speaking to me, God, in, in, in a, 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 a dream, a vision. You've been speaking to me through wise counsel, God. Some godly person has been speaking into my life, God. And now I see that that is you, God. God, you've been speaking to me, God, through a circumstance. God, bring it back to me, God. Lord, just like Samuel, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again, God, for who you are, God. God, we give you glory. We give you honor, God, for who you are, God. God, I thank you right now, God, that as you speak to us right now, God, just like Samuel, God, that we hear you, God. Oh, that it, I yes be a yes, Lord. God, speak to us right now, God, in visions, God. Oh, God, speak to us right now, God, in circumstances right now, God. Speak to us through godly wisdom, God, through godly, godly counsel, God. Speak to us through your word, God, and in your word, God. Take, it, take us deeper into your word, God. Father, I thank you, God, for who you are, God. Oh, God, give us revelation, God. Reveal to us right now, God. Don't let us lean upon our own understanding, God, but that we acknowledge you, God. That we say yes, God. That we hear you, God. God, I thank you right now, God, for this day right now, God. You are the good shepherd right now, God. We hear your voice and the voice of a stranger. We will not follow, God. Lord, just like Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thought and the plans I have for you, God. God, we say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And God, I thank you, and we'll be careful to give you all the glory and all the honor. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. God loves you, and I do too. Amen. Thank you.